Hey guys, Amandu here and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do story time videos, but I wanted them to be my original stories. Now, while I'm preparing those, I decided to share some of the stories that I've heard here in Mexico. Mexico is filled with culture, it's filled with legends, and I thought it would be a lot of fun to share them. Because I know there are many stories that people don't know about. A lot of people know about stories like La Llorona or El Chupacabras, but there are many, many other beautiful legends here in Mexico. The illustration for today is actually my take on the protagonist of this story, Lady Beatriz Espinosa de Guevara. And let me tell you her story and why I like it so much. This story is called La Calle de la Quemada, or The Burnt Woman's Street. Don Gonzalo Espinosa de Guevara, Beatriz's father, lived in a very big mansion. Now Beatriz was the most beautiful woman you can imagine. She had a beautiful face, beautiful eyes, white, silky skin, luscious hair. But not only that, she was also extremely gentle. She used to care for the sick and the injured, and she would use her father's fortune to help the poor. Because she was such a noble, generous soul, and also a beautiful lady with a big fortune, it was easy to understand that she had plenty of handsome suitors. Many gentlemen actually fought in front of Beatriz's mansion, but she refused to take any of them. Finally, one day a man arrived to the mansion. This man's name was Don Martín de Scopoli, Marquis of Piramonte, a handsome Italian gentleman who fell in love with Beatriz since the first time he saw her and this love grew with passion. He would fight every single gentleman that wanted to marry Beatriz, showing his strong and eternal love for her. For this reason, many other men wanted to prove their love to Beatriz fighting this man. But no matter what they did, the Italian man never lost a fight. Whenever the sun rose, the police passing through Beatriz's street would always find a dead or injured man caused by the sword of her Italian suitor. Beatriz was very in love with Martin, immensely, because he was not only kind and had a way with words, but because he was very handsome. However, she could not stand that all these men were getting hurt because of her. So one night, she prayed to Santa Lucia, a martyr virgin, who took out her eyes as to not be tempted. And she made a terrible decision wanting to make Don Martin love her no more. The next day, she started a fire in her room, and the heat became intense. She prayed to Santa Lucia, and while saying Don Martin's name, she knelt down and put her beautiful face over the fire. A smell of burning flesh spread through the room. After a few minutes, Beatriz screamed and fainted next to the fire. The people in the house heard Beatrice's scream and ran into her room. They found her on the floor, lifted her head with care, and tried to put some herbs and vinegar on her burnt face, asking why she had done it. She explained that with this event, Don Martin would finish with all the fighting, and he would love her no more. Knowing these reasons, the men still decided to explain to Don Martin what had happened. The Italian gentleman hurried back to where his lover was, and found her sitting on an armchair with a black veil that covered her face. The veil was spotted with blood and burnt flesh. When he took up the veil from his lover's face, he did not jump back terrified when he saw her. He was worried, looking at her beautiful face burnt by the cruel flames. Her cheeks were open craters where blood drained, and her lips, which had been so sumptuous, worthy of a passionate kiss, were now whole which formed a horrible grin. After he saw this, the Marquis of Piamonte knelt down and said with tenderness, Ah, Beatriz, I love you not for your beauty, but for your goodness. You are a noble, generous lady, and your soul is pure. Tears fell down with these words, and both cried with love and tenderness. The Marquis continued, When your father comes back, I will ask for your hand in marriage. The wedding of Beatriz and the Marquis of Piedmont was held in the temple La Profesa and was the most sensational event of those times. Don Gonzalo Guevara Espinosa spent his fortune on the celebrations and the Marquis of Piedmont gave the bride dresses, jewelry and furniture brought from Italy. 
Beatrice arrived to the altar with a veil on her face, to avoid the curiosity of others. After this, she only went outside to go to the nearby church, accompanied by her husband. Since that day, the street where Beatrice's house was is now called the Burnt Girls. I honestly love this story. I think it's a beautiful love story. I think it speaks plenty about Beatrice's character, who was so gentle and couldn't stand being the reason for people hurting themselves. And I also love that Don Martin still loved her no matter what. That he was in love with her soul and not with her face. I think it's kind of a bittersweet story, but I think it's very beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like my content, please comment, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Tell me if you like this Mexican stories and maybe I can tell you some more. There are plenty of stories that I really like and I would love to share. See you next time guys, stay creative, bye bye!